Hey everyone, so welcome to this Playwright tutorial where we'll be discussing custom reporting with Monocart. So first of all, what is Monocart? So Monocart is a reporting tool designed to provide comprehensive test reports for Playwright. If you want to look at a demo, this is a demo reporting using Monocart. So as you can see that it creates a beautiful user-friendly UI for you to see the details of your tests uh, with a lot of customization that is possible. Um, as you can see that you can also add uh, custom columns of your choice and you can see um, a pie chart to show you the details of the test. You can also add tags. You can also look at the details of your um, machine that you're using for testing. So that is about Monocart. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see the setup for Monocart and uh, look at some details of the reporting tool. Obviously we're not gonna go over all these uh, details. This video is just going to show you the basics of setting it up. So let's get started here, guys. So how do you set up Monocart? Well, first of all, obviously you have to install Playwright. If you don't have Playwright installed, the first step is installing Playwright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the beginning, but if you already have Playwright uh, installed, you can skip uh, the first couple of minutes and start from the Monocart uh, report. So I'm gonna go to my VS code and then um, I already created a folder. I'm going to open that folder. So from your VS Code, you're going to open folder and choose the folder that you would like to use. So I created a folder called Monocart. So I'm going to use that folder. So first, uh, you're going to open a folder, which is called Monocart. And then what we're going to do is you're going to go to Terminal, New Terminal. And here, we're going to install uh, playwright. So this is the command that we're going to use. So let's do that. So TypeScript. I'll just choose the default options. And as you can see that it is now installing everything that we need. Once the installation is complete, um, step number two, we can create some test cases or use the default test cases provided by Playwright. So Playwright will give you some default test cases and we can actually use those instead of creating some new test cases. Uh, so next, uh, step number three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the tests using the Playwright command. And after running the test, we're gonna use the following command to view the default report provided by Playwright. So as you can see, Playwright has been installed. Um, so as you can see that we suggest that we begin by typing npx Playwright test, which will basically just run the test that we have by default. So we're gonna just run that command. So npx Playwright test. There are six tests uh, using four workers that are running. So let's wait <clears throat> for these uh, tests to be completed. And then we will open the report. So as you can see, this is the default HTML report. So we're gonna run the command npx playwright show report. So npx playwright show report. And as you can see that it opens, let me open that. So this is the test report provided by Playwright. As you see, uh, if you compare it with this one, the Playwright default report is pretty basic, okay? Obviously it's gonna show you how many Test cases passed, failed, flaky, or skipped. And if you click on the test, you can see the steps right here. But again, if you compare it with 
monocart, you can see uh, monocart is obviously giving you a lot more details. So that's what we're going to install right now. So we have done the basic things. Now, the step number four is uh, first, we are going to see where is our reporting tool. And then we're going to add another reporter, which is called list. So the list reporter is basically allow you to get a short and concise reporting in the terminal. So basically, if you look at your terminal right now, it just simply says running six tests using four workers, six passed, and that's it. It doesn't give you any other details in the terminal. But if you want to add a short and concise reporting in the terminal, we can add the list reporter along with the HTML in your Playwright configuration file. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Playwright config.ts file. And here we can see the detail of our reporter. And you can see at line number 24, we have reporter HTML. So that allows us to open the NPX Playwright show report. And the location of this is Playwright report. And this is the HTML file that actually run when I type NPX Playwright show report. This is your report that displayed on the browser. So this is the default report. And this is coming from your Playwright config.ts, which is right here. So along with the HTML, we want to add the list one. Okay, so all you have to do is just, um, you can do this, actually do this this way. Um, so I'm going to just copy this. And go to my file. So here you only have one item, which is the reporter HTML. So what we can do is I'm just commenting out this. And then I'm going to add both of them here. Okay, so you're listing two reporters. One is the list and another is the HTML. So now I'm going to run uh, my test again. So first let's clear this using control C. Yes, okay, now we're gonna run the command again. So you can use your up arrow from your keyboard instead of writing this again. So this is the second command that I wrote. Before that, I wrote this command, npx playwright test. So I'm going to run this again. And now you'll see the difference um, after adding the list reporter. So as you can see, it provides a little bit more details instead of just saying, so previously when I ran it, it just simply says six past 15 point seven second and that's it but now it gives you a little bit more details about the name of the tests so as you can see all six and six pass so a little bit more details and that came from uh, the reporter that we added called list okay so now we will look at the monocard report so to add that we have to write this command npm i dash D monocard reporter. So I'll just copy this. You can also find the details of the monocard if you go to, uh, let me see if I can go back here. So I'll put this link in the comment section, but basically this is where you can see the details of the monocard reporter. Um, all these details are here. And if you click on this preview, that's is where I actually showed you uh, the monocard reporter. So I copied the command that we need to install monocart. So I'm going to go to my VS code and just run that command. Okay, so as you can see that it is installing and it is done. Okay, so we just installed the monocart reporter. Now we have to make some changes to our config file to add that. So now we are going to add the monocord reporter to your playwright configuration file. So we already have two reporters. One is the HTML and another is the list. So this is what we're gonna add right now. So you will have to type this. Um, I'm gonna just copy this. And you can find these details in this section as well. So if you scroll down and here you will see the 
details as well. I'm just following these steps. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my file and look at the reporter section. So this is list and HTML. And here I can add my third reporter. So we already have uh, the list and the HTML. And then what I can do is I can put a comma and then add the one that I just copied, which is right here. So I have list, I have HTML, and then I have my monocard reporter. One thing that's important right here is the output file. So monocart report slash index.html. Remember the default report is right here, playwright dash report. That is your default report, but I'm creating another directory for my monocart report. So that directory is going to be monocart report slash index.html. Just like the way you have one index.html file right here, you're going to have another one for the monocart report. Okay, so after I am done adding it, so I'm gonna run my test again. So again, you can use your up arrow, npx playwright test, and then just run this test. Then it's gonna use all three reporters, okay? If you want, you can actually delete the first two, which we'll do in a minute. But first, let's see what happens if we use all three reporters. Okay, so I'm using all three list, HTML, and monocard report. So as you can see, monocard report first provides uh, this in your terminal. So it gives you a little bit more details compared to what we did using uh, the list. So this is your list reporter. Then we have our HTML and then we have our monocard reporter. So now if you scroll down, here you can see that um, you can run this command to look at your monocard report or you can still use your default one, which is NPX Playwright Show Report. However, if you want to see your monocard report, what we can do is we can just copy this one. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy this line and then paste it here. So npx monocart show report, monocart report slash index.html, because that's what we added as an output file. And you can, you can see it here, right here, monocart report, and that is your index.html file. So now if I click on run, you will have your report. Uh, let's allow this. Okay, so this is my test report using monocart. Okay, so as you can see that it shows the details of the tests that I have all six tests passed, okay? And these are the details, uh, duration, whether I have an error and all other options. If you click on this list icon here, you can see some more details about your test as well. It gives you the details about your uh, host computers details, memory uses, and all the other details. So that's you can see using your monocard. Okay, so as mentioned, we can also um, just keep the monocard report. So if you go to your config file, so instead of using list and HTML, you can just use the monocard reports. In that case, what you have to do is just uh, delete these two options. So what you can do is just, just delete them if you don't wanna use them. Okay, there you go. So in that case, I have only one reporter, which is the monocard report. And then what we can do is we can just close this, print one, and then run my report again. And the right test. So now I'm using only the monocot reporter. I'm not using the HTML and the list. So as you can see that it's running and now you are not seeing your list and not seeing the this option to open the last HTML report. It doesn't show anything. It only shows about the monocard. So now, um, you can again click on the right uh, up arrow and then run your 
one of our report. So you'll only see one reporter, which is the monocop report. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense how to add the monocart. Another thing I will quickly show you, one last thing, guys. So we did step number seven. We can use all three reporters or just use monocart. And to do that, to do that, we can delete the list and HTML from the report. Okay, last step. Sometimes you want to tag your test as let's say fast or slow and then filter by tagging the test report or you might want to only run tests that have a certain tag so if you look at your um preview here you will notice that there are some tags that uh this report is using like a smoke report all these tags if you want to use these tags we can do that by adding a tag. So what you can do is you can just simply copy this tag option and add it to your existing test. So if I go to my test that I was running, which is this example uh, spec.ts, and here there are only two tests available. So what we can do is um, right after the test name has title, before the sync, we can add that tag here. And you can add a comma right here. Um, so that way you can add a person's name, for example, Alice. And then you can also add this to the second one. So I'm gonna add this right after sync. And here we can add another person's name if we want. So if you want to see that, you can add it here. So instead of Alice, I'm going to say, for example, Bob. Um, there is an error. Let's see why. Um, OK, so let's see why it's not working. So we added uh, test. Okay, so I think I did not add the probably go straight here. There you go. So now it will add, for example, let's say this test is completed by Ellis and this test is completed by Bob. So we added these two tags. So now I'm going to run it again. Um, so let's do control C. And then I'm going to run the test. So it may take a minute. Okay, so as you can see that it is completed. Now we can open our reporter. Okay, so now if I click on the list icon, as you can see here, there are two tags added, Alice and Bob, so three tests are completed by Alice and three tests are completed by Bob. Basically, there are only two tests, but since you're using all three browser, that's why it shows you three and three. Okay, so that's um, something that you can add in your uh, monocord report as well. All right, guys, so that's all about the basics of creating a monocord report. So this is the default playwright report, and this is your monocord report. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.